ever wondered what it would be like to live in a, in a Smurf house? Well, here's your chance. Located on Pine Lake Golf Course in West Bloomfield, a, a home built in 1920 with a cushiony blue roof, has hit the market. And joining us now to talk about this unique property is, real, uh, is realtor Gwen Schultz. Gwen, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you. Appreciate having, having you on with us. So uh, tell us about this unique home. Uh, when was it originally built? And uh, from what you know, what went into the design of this? Because there are some very unique features to it. It was built in 1920. Um, it was designed by an architect named William uh, uh, Cooney, K-U-N-I. And uh, back in the day, during the automotive um, explosion, uh, they built houses for executives way out from Detroit on on areas like lakes to um, host uh, events. And uh, this uh, house has some pretty interesting finishes, like the the tile is called a flint fiance. F F I, got, I forgot the spelling. Interesting. F A I N C E, and that is actually the top of a spark plug. The ceramic at the top of a spark plug that they used to create tiles in the area that are very comparable to the Pawabic tiles. So interesting materials used throughout, lots of beveled glass, leaded glass. Yeah, it really is just uh, looking at some of the pictures of it before today's program, it is a really unique house. And what's, uh, what, what really catches the eye, I think, for most people is the fact that, and why it's been referred to so many times as the Smurf house, uh, is because of its blue, it's because <laughs> of its blue roof. It's got this blue yeah. roof on it, and, it's, and I think the best description is the description we have, this cushiony blue roof on top. Yeah. What is that material made of, and, and why was that, when, and from what you know in the design of this home, something that was featured? Because it's, it's yeah. something that's very different. Yeah, it's very different. It's a golden cedar shake and it was stained blue. Um, the owners did a lot of renovation here and they looked back for the colors and that was, the, the roof has historically been blue, except for a short period when, it, when the whole house was green. But the, the waves of the roof emulate the, the lake, the waves of the lake. Um, and it is a, I think it's an 85 year roof. And it was just redone. And so what is the roof made of that's given it such a, un a unique look like that? Because you gave us some idea of the color history of it and, and, and all that. So it's referred to as the Smurf House, but I understand it also has a lot of other interesting nicknames too beyond that. But maybe, yeah. a little bit, maybe are a little bit uh, less undercutting. Yeah, it's a, it's a cedar shake roof. Um, but there's lots of names. Like the, in the 30s, it was briefly known as the Blue Jay House. And people refer to it around the lake as the gingerbread house, the Hensel and Gretel house, um, the frosting house, um, lots of names. The Smurf name has pretty much stuck. And uh, my, I talked to my seller about that. He says, yeah, I'm just, I'm Papa Smurf. <laughs> We're joined by Gwen Schultz, a realtor with Coldwell Banker and Weir Manual, joining us on the Megacast. Uh, more information can be found at wayupmedia.com to, to find pictures of the property. And for, for those that may be interested in exploring this or, or they're looking for a home in the area, what are the dimensions of the home and the property? How many are rooms? What's the size of the home? Um, there's seven bedrooms. There used to be nine, but they turned one into a, a laundry room and then they took out a wall between one. Um, there are nine fireplaces. Um, many of the bedrooms have a sleeping porch. Bathrooms are, forgot what it is, seven full and three half baths, um, over 7,500 square feet. And I'm not 100% sure that doesn't include the third level. Um, so it's a large home with a finished basement. And an interesting fact about the finished basement is it used to be a grand ballroom and it has a terrazzo tile. And the owner was telling me that back in the day when they entertained, there's a room at the bottom of the, the descending steps and that room was was for the single ladies to sit and wait to be asked to dance. It's very interesting. So a lot, a lot of interesting stories going into this home built in 1920. We're joined by Gwen Schultz, the realtor, uh, helping to sell this home located uh, in West Bloomfield, just off of the Pine Lake Golf Course. Uh, and and Pine Lake Pine Lake. And Pine Lake. Yes. It's 100, 175 feet on the water. Yes. So it's, yeah, also on the water. Great location there. Really interesting home too. Uh, so. 
And that brings up the question, well, why does the owner want to sell this? He's got this home that's really uniquely built. It's got all these great features. It's in a great location. So why, why sell it? Why, why now? You know, they just want to, they want to go in a different direction with their lives right now. They've lovingly restored the house and they said, you know, it's time for a change. More information can be, fa by, can be found uh, online. Just go ahead and, and look up uh, Gwen Schultz with Coldwell Banker and uh, Weir Manual. Uh, there, as she is the realtor on this home as they're looking to sell it. Joining us on the Michigan Megacast, so many unique features, such a, you know, such a peculiar home. Uh, and, and so for a home like this, you look at the real estate market and, and where where it's at. It, it's in the over the course of the pandemic, it's kind of ebbed and flowed between being a seller's market and a buyer's market. Where's the real estate market at right now, and how does that affect the way that you market this home? Well, the luxury market is a little bit different from you know the houses that are under. 800. Um, but interestingly enough, in coming into this program, I did some research and eight houses have sold in Oakland County over 4 million in the last six months. Right now, there's 12 on the market. So the absorption rate is pretty good for the luxury market. Um, we're still in a seller's market. Uh, the, 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 the buyers and the sellers are, are having challenges right now. Buyers are having challenges to buying and sellers are having challenges selling only because if they get a lot of offers, who do they pick? Um, and that's where we come in, the, the realtors come in and, and do a lot of counseling. Um, but there's a lot of factors that are changing the real estate market right now. The rates are going up, so it's pausing a little bit. Inventory is still low, and, but, it, but inventory is coming up. Um, now with the spring market, so it's it's but buyers are still pausing due to the interest rates, but we're still seeing a very quick uh, market. Gwen Schultz joins us on the Michigan Megacast, the realtor uh, who is selling this really unique home located at 2690 Pine Lake Road on Pine Lake Golf Course and on the lake on Pine Lake in West Bloomfield Township in Oakland County, uh, the house affectionately known as the Smurf House. Uh, because of its blue cushiony looking roof is listed uh, by by our current guest Gwen Schultz with Coldwell Banker and Weir Manual joining us on the Michigan Mega Castle. How did you end up as the uh, realtor of this home? How did you end up with the listing of this and how excited were you knowing the, the unique fe features and the interesting characteristics of, of this home to as a realtor get a chance to market this and sell this home? Well, I live on the lake. That's one thing. So I offer people tours on the lake if they want to come all around and see the whole lake. Um, but um, I know the owner. I've known her for a while. And when she said she was going to put the house on, I, I said, Ann, I would love to represent you. So uh, it's um, uh, uh, a great opportunity. And uh, I, I truly appreciate the character in homes like this. I've had the uh, privilege of representing a few really unique houses and this has but this is one of my favorites I've been doing this for over 35 years so this is my favorites the press has gone crazy with this house I've been getting called and and uh, getting emails I got something from the UK the first day I put it on um, be, because it's such a unique house but I was very excited uh, uh, the owners are um, very helpful in, pro in providing information um, about what they've done and some of the history. So it's it's been a joy. More information can be found on cbwm.com. Uh, if you just go and look up uh, Gwen Schultz, the real estate agent on this particular property, you'll be able to learn more information about it. And again, the address 2690 Pine Lake Road in West Bloomfield Township, Michigan for more information. Uh, and and uh, you can also send Gwen an email about the property too if you're interested in learning more. Uh, G Schultz at cbwm.com. That's uh, G S C H U L T Z at cbwm.com for more information to learn more about the property. Uh, Gwen, any, uh, what's the interest been like so far for those that are looking to buy the property? If people are interested in a property like this <laughs> and, and, they're, and they're going to go into the market, how much competition are they currently in right now uh, in the, at this stage of the sale? Well, right now there's not a ton of competition because, again, there's only it was 12 houses on the market over the 4 million range. Um, so it's going to take a special buyer. You know, I watched the stock market go up and down. I go, oh boy, hopefully that doesn't affect my high end buyers. But I'll tell you, a lot of the people's in this range, a lot of the buyers in this range are, are cash buyers. 
Um, so hopefully that you know it doesn't get as affected as affected as the medium price range homes. Um, but uh, the the competition is uh, um, is out there. But I don't think there's anything like this on the market with the with the lake frontage, with the golf course frontage. Um, with the history, with the with the condition that the house is in, when they bought it, the house needed a lot of work. So right now, an owner can take it over, and they don't have to do any work. It's on three acres, so private as well. Uh, Gwen, before we let you go, anything else we haven't talked about today in terms of this property or other interesting properties that uh, maybe for sale that people uh, can discuss with you at this time? Mm. Huh. Other than my phone ringing off the hook saying hey what else do you have like on the lakes <laughs> um uh the inventory is still low it's still low for lake frontages so um uh, the house is is a is a joy to see um I, I i'm gonna answer your prior question i do have a couple uh showing set up for the weekend so i i'm hoping that we can we can move it um but it's going to take a special buyer more information can be found at gschultz.cbwm.com, her website, gschultz.cbwm.com. Gwen, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Tyler.